Uh, so now, how have how have things changed in the last couple of weeks with this uh, whole coronavirus lockdown here? They've changed mighty significantly. It has been a true challenge as an educator to find ways to navigate this new world. But I will say that it's been really amazing because I have been forced to move in new directions than Mm -hmm. I would otherwise have gone. You know, when you think about a traditional program, you're standing in front of an ensemble, you're rehearsing music, and you're doing those sorts of things. We can't do any of those things now. So how do you fill their time? And I found that upon reflecting on this this quarantine, this these strange and unusual times that we're living in, there was something more important than really truly playing your C major scale well. There was something that transcended the basic mechanics of playing our instrument and rehearsing. And that's where I chose to focus my energy as an educator. So to give you some examples, I had my students chew on the big concept of what does it mean to be a musician? And why are we musicians? Why are we doing this? And getting them to think about the fact that you can see music as a gift that you give to someone else, as we were talking about before, rather than something you're doing for yourself. Mm -hmm. We think of artists as selfish, and we are in some ways. I'm certainly selfish with my time because I, I need and I value that time to be able to pursue my craft. But ultimately, the music that I'm playing is for others. It's a gift to those people, for them to listen to, to be moved by, whatever, what have you. And I wanted the students to understand the power they had as musicians, to not only inspire them to become better musicians, but to put themselves out in the world as musicians, giving to others. And so we talked a lot about empathy, a concept that, you know, perhaps most high school students are not super comfortable with or familiar with. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, you know, one of the, one of the first big projects I did with the kids was to tell them, you know, look, think about your extended family. Think about your friends, your, your acquaintances. Think about somebody who could possibly be not doing so great right now, feeling isolated, feeling lonely, feeling scared, feeling anxious. Think about that person and give them your gift of music. So the assignment was to prepare a piece of music and it could be, you know, there were lots of options. It could be something that a student performed live via Zoom or some other means to a distant family member in another town. It could be something they pre-recorded and emailed over. It could be a piece of music, you know, somebody else's music that they just wanted to share with that person. It could be any any form of giving music to that other person. And after they had done so, after they had shared that music, to reach out to that person and have a dialogue, have a communication with that person and understand, you know, what you, the power that you had for that person to make them feel less anxious, to make them feel less lonely, to make them feel loved in some way. And I think, you know, I got some very insightful reflections from the students on the experience. And it really made me happy to see that and to read that because that tells me these students are being good people rather than just good musicians. And I think we could definitely use with more good people in this world. So that was a, that was a great thing. 